What's up, everybody? It's Adrian and Muhammad with AM Reviews coming again with a review for The Night Clerk. So, uh, The Night Clerk is a movie all about, you guessed it, a night clerk who works um, kind of like that 5 p.m. To, to midnight shift, the graveyard shift, if you will. And he has Asperger's. And it's pretty apparent in the beginning of the film. I think they re- did a really good job of kind of depicting what it's like to have um, that disability. He lacks social awareness and social cues um, and is very smart, but has a hard time understanding how to have a conversation. So he watches people. And I think it's a technique that a lot of them are taught um, to learn social interaction, but he takes it kind of to the extreme. And he bugs the rooms of different, you know, of different guests in this hotel and watches them and plays through their conversations, mimic them um, and kind of feel how he would have interacted in the moment. Um, But recording people can be very problematic and an issue. So it kind of leads him into this strange situation, I'd say. Yeah, he ends up kind of in the middle of a murder mystery because this kind of happens on well, not really on his watch, but, you know, he kind of is watching it and he, he's really just watching it on the, the cameras that he has set up in the hotel rooms. And also he gets one of the uh, little chips that he has in a camera in one of the hotel rooms just to take it back, uh, just to see what happens. I, I guess there's not a whole bunch explained on why he took it back and not use that to give it to the police. Uh, what, what did you get from that? I think we're given the perspective of the night clerk and it's kind of hard to understand all of his motives, why he felt it necessary to hide the chips and videos and things. But it, of course, made for a better story, I think, in my opinion. It, it, it did. But I also think that this movie could have been like maybe a 30 minute episode on NCIS or something. There's not much here. I mean, there's a murder that happens. He kind of is resistant to the detective, not really telling him everything, kind of lying to him. It was pretty drawn out. Well, I wouldn't say some of the scenes were important, but they were just like a few seconds too long in the beginning and the end of each scene. Mm -hmm. Um, You're right. It definitely could have been short. Yeah, we definitely got the point on mostly everything. They kind of hold your hand with this stuff. They say that he has Asperger's and then he goes out and says the definition of it. And then we see all of (laughs) Yeah. I mean, we see multiple times he's watching people in the hotel rooms for minutes on end. And I mean, (laughs) we've seen this like, come on, get to the next point. But they're trying to drag this out. The movie's only an hour and a half and they were just trying to barely get to that. I agree. It's like they were like, we have to make it 90 minutes. It could have been 74, but you know, we had to make it 90. So many things were half baked. So many things were alluded to. So many things were unnecessary. Put him more into the murder or something. Like he doesn't actually have to do it. Like make him look guilty. I don't know. Let's go ahead and rate this. So yeah, (laughs) the lowest rating is trash. Middle is background noise and the highest is a banger. So how'd you rate the Netflix film, The Night Clerk? I would rate this as this sounds weird, but like a high trash. <laughs> I mean, high it's trash. like it's not terrible. Well, I mean, saying trash is terrible. Hey, yeah, it's high terrible though. It's like, I mean, you're you're interested for like a few minutes, <laughs> and it keeps feeling like it's gonna go somewhere and do something big. It just doesn't quite pan out. This movie, The Night Clerk. I was waiting for that big moment to happen, but you know, they they don't really live up to whatever hype they were trying to get to, but I'm going to go with a low background noise for this one. I Um, mean, it's, it's pretty close to mine, but I, I, I can definitely agree with that. I mean, next time just make this into NCIS short episode or something. This doesn't need a full feature film. 